Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So to my viewers and followers and subscribers on YouTube, Happy Chinese New Year and Gong Si Fa Chai to all of you. So if you happen to hear any loud sounds or fireworks in the background or behind me, yeah, it's Chinese New Year. Today is the eve as we are recording now in this video, which is about one hour plus to Chinese New Year. So back to this video, as you see here, now we are in trading view. So I thought of doing a quick video on how to connect TradeStation to trading view and then show you how to execute a trade for a futures contract through trading view this is a live demo using a live account to show you how the trade actually take place and also how to place your take profit and stop loss for a futures contract on trading view and again before we continue i want to highlight here that this is not financial advice in any trade whether you're trading futures or trading options or trading stocks invest at your own risk this video is merely just a tutorial and demo video so now how to connect your trade station account to your trading view here so you notice here at the bottom here that trading panel strategy tester pine editor and stock screener so we're going to go to trading panel and then scroll down here to see all brokers so there's a lot of brokers here that you can connect to trading view and some brokers will allow you to connect a paper account or a live account so for some of you who are just starting out trading whether you're trading in stock market or trading in futures trading and you want to practice first and not trade live money real money then you can practice on trading view trading view also have their own paper trading account but anyway now we want to go to trade station so we're going to look for trade station here if it's too small then you can pull up by, by pressing this maximize panel and then let's look for trade station here so it's just next to amp so click trade station then with trade station once you have funded your account you can trade live or trade demo if you're new to trade station and you haven't opened a trade station account i did a video previously i'll put the links above and in the description below where you can watch your walkthrough video step by step on how to set up and register your trade station account and then also to fund your trade station account so now here we're going to go with live and then click connect and then key in your username and password and then I think for some security features, you need to put in the six digit authentication code. This you can link it with like a Google Authenticator to get the six digit security code. So anyway, now we're going to log in. Okay, so now I'm in my futures account. As you see here, you see here account, and then there'll be the letters and digits for your account number. If you open a stock trading account to trade stocks and options, then you can also see your other accounts here. Then on the right here, you will see your net worth, realized PNL, and unrealized PNL. Then here you can see your position, order, history, account summary, and notification logs. So now we're going to minimize and hide this panel. So you see here all these blue and red arrows. I've already done some trades, small trades, and big trades much, much earlier, the past few hours and days. If you don't want to see these blue and red arrows, just right click go to settings and then click executions here to remove the blue and red yellows to see the screen clearer so for this demo i'm going to open it then if you also want to see the labels for your executions like how much you buy and sell then you click execution labels here then you see all your buy and sells and the amount that you bought at so i'm going to turn this off and then click ok okay so now to actually execute a trade there are three ways that you can place a trade firstly you see this plus button so you can click and then you can buy and sell in any amount here preset amount or you can go to trade and then you see this dom or this order flow here so you can see the amounts here and the values and where you want to place your trade or you can set a quick trade here to buy or sell at the press of a button and then if you want to change the amount the quantity you just click here then put in the quantity or change the quantity here so now we are in a one hour time frame chart i'm going to close this here and then we're going to zoom in to five minutes to just see roughly where we are so you see here now it's been going up a bit and then we see here this macd been going up a bit and also here going up a bit okay so now just for demo purpose i'm going to do one trade so i'm going to click buy one here or maybe i'm going to show you how to do through the dom the order flow so you want to be more dynamic you see this lock button you can release it then you will flow along if not then you will lock here so you remain static okay so now since it's been going up i'm going to do a buy here at this price one and then the order has been executed okay so i'm going to close this okay now it's been going down i'm going to set a stop loss of small amount ten dollars 
Okay, so once the trick has been executed, so I'm going to move this up closer a bit, show you all in this video how to do a stop loss and also take profit. Okay, so let's hope the price goes up. Looking at it, there's still a lot of green bars here, and the green bars are a bit thick and long, so there's a chance of it going up, and also the MACD line is below 0 0.00. Okay, the price is going up. Okay, so I'm going to move it down closer a bit to show you on this video. So you see the stop loss and also the take profit, the prices, they move. If I move up, then it will move up and reset. Not if I move down, then it will also reset. So I'm going to set it back here to 5. And then if you want to close it, you can press the X button. Or in your DOM, in the trade here, you can click flatten. Or if you want to reverse the position from buy to sell, you can press the reverse button here. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to do reverse. Now I'm going up a bit. So you're going to reverse. And then now we see the thing has changed to sell contract. So if the price goes up some more, then we are losing money. If the price goes down some more, then we are making profit. I'm going to set a bit the stop loss again to $5. So to see more details about your trade, go to your trade station here. Then you see here that this current live trade will show you your take profit, stop loss amount that you set, current price, and then the unrealized PL currently. And then if you actually place more quantity trades, like let's say you buy here or you buy here, then the average price will change and also the quantity will change. And here you see your initial requirement and also the the day trade requirement so for trade station for day trading oh and i forgot to mention the contract that we are now trading in this live demo is the micro e mini s&p 500 you can see here is march 2024 so to trade different contracts there are different contracts and time periods so you just key in the code or you can key in the micro e mini s&p so i'm going to key in mesh and then go to futures you see this arrow here go down so there's a few contracts, so there's the 2024 contract and also the March 2025 contract. So we are in the March 2024 contract currently. So I'm going to close this. So for the micro e-mini S&P 500, based on what we see here from the trade station website, the intraday initial is $130, intraday maintenance is $117, overnight margin is $1,298 and the maintenance margin is $1,180 and also the intraday rate is 10 percent so to day trade you need to have minimum 130 dollars to open the contract in the micro e-mini and hours for trading day trade futures contract in trade station the hours are from 9 a.m to 4 p.m eastern time from monday to friday if you scroll down on the page about trade station futures margin at the bottom here here you see the information display so since i'm from malaysia and for malaysian investors who want to trade futures contract the hours for day trading in our malaysian time is from 10 p.m monday to 5 a.m saturday and then also take note that there's the overnight or maintenance margin of 5 a.m to 6 a.m so maybe you want to stick to within the hours of day trading which is from 10 p.m to 5 a.m to be able to trade a contract at 130 dollars for the intraday trading and also that the fees for the contract whenever you buy and sell a contract you can refer to the trade station website here but if you want to trade in the after hours that means from 5 a.m to 10 p.m that hours that means in our Malaysian time in during the daytime then you need to have minimum $1,180 or $1,298 in your trade station account in order to open one contract one futures contract whereas if you day trade from 10 p.m to 5 a.m within that time frame and window then you just need to have minimum 130 dollars to open one contract so i hope you found this quick tutorial video helpful especially if you are new to futures trading and new to trade station and trading view if you found today's video helpful hit the like button below and also you can subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more in investing finance and real estate topics and videos and as always invest safe